right now for you from New Haven as well. A police officer involved in an incident that left a man paralyzed will keep her job for now. A decision on whether to fire her was delayed. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Bryant Reed is joining us right now live with the very latest details tonight. Bryant. Well, Mark, Jocelyn Lavendier is fighting for her job. She's one of the five officers involved in the incident last June that left Randy Cox paralyzed in the back of a police transport van. Now, in video, you can see uh, the police are on camera dragging Cox out of the van and continue carrying him to a holding cell despite his cries for help. After a recommendation by the New Haven police chief to fire all of the officers involved, one of them has since retired. And tonight, after hours of closed door, closed door discussion, members of the police commission voted to postpone a decision on whether to fire Officer, officer Jocelyn Lavendier. Now, of course, the situation is developing. And as we find out more information about Lavendier's as well as the other officers' job status with the New Haven Police Department, we will make sure to keep you updated both on air and on the Channel 3 app. In New Haven, Brian Free, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.